What's up guys, it's your boy MSD Ardijan here bringing you another video and today I will be showing you the meta assault rifles and LMG bills you need to use in multiplayer and warzone 2.0 when that comes out in about two to three days depends on when I upload this video so let's go over to the weapon section and we'll be starting with the Kaskov 74U with the following attachments okay, start with the muzzle we're going to use the X10 where is it X10 Havoc 90 which improves horizontal and vertical recoil for the barrel section we're going with the BR209 which improves movement and ADS you know in the outside is very vital uh, with the stock section now we're going with um, the what's it's called the the Markeev if I'm not mistaken yeah this one the Markeev uh, R7 which improves crouch move speed uh, so you can drop shot uh, sprint speed and ADS and um, let me see what's next the oh the honor barrel we're gonna use the mark no not the mark the merc foregrip I think it's called this one right here this one improves hip fire accuracy uh, recoil steadiness recoil control aim walking steadiness and last but not least we're gonna go with the true tack grip which improves sprint to fire speed and ads speed with a minute with um with a negative of recoil control but if you know your weapon you're supposed to be able to control the recoil with uh with the added benefit of tuning the parts to your liking but me personally i don't tune my parts because i can control the weapon that i'm using but you can you can tune your weapon to how you like it like more ads like say for instance um sprint to fire you can adjust that and put that over there or you could um you could go on the, the weight section over there and interfere with the the recoil steadiness or the aim down sight speed is is all up to you every attachment uh, if i'm not mistaken has their um their different sliders so you can adjust if you rank up the the weapon to its maximum level that is all right so um there's a different variation for this um Kaskov, which i'm going to show you as well this is more like a uh, versatile bill if you want to say that so we're going with the Komodo heavy where is it Komodo heavy which improves horizontal recoil uh, barrel we're going with the short tack which improves recoil control hip recoil control and bullet velocity uh, for the optic because this is a kind of versatile bill me personally you can use any of these four if you like them uh, with a mention of this one here the Kazan hollow which is a very good optic as well but for now I'm just gonna use uh, this one here the DF 105 reflex side that's that's like my my site and you know, I like this site a lot for some reason um, the, on the barrel we're going with the VX pineapple which improves hip fire accuracy hip recoil control control steadiness and aim walking steadiness 
with a negative being aimed down sight. And finally, for the rear grip section, we're going with the true tack grip. And as I said before, you can fine tune your weapons if you so like. But this is the first versatile build for the Kaskov 74U. On to the next weapon. All right, guys. So we have the STB556 with the following attachments, starting with the optic. You can use any um, optic of your choice here, like a one times optic. You know, I'm going with this. That's my personal optic. Uh, on the barrel section, we're going with the lock grip precision. Ammunition type. We're going with the 556 high velocity. The grip section. We're going to use the Q. Uh, what's this called? This one. The Bruin Q900 grip. And for the comb, we're using the F Tac C11 riser or riser. And this is the bill for this weapon right here you can see good ADS everything is all right next weapon on the to-do list the TAC 5.6 with the following attachments muzzle motor heavy barrel we're going with the 14.5 Thunder Pro barrel optic the optic of your choice on the barrel phase 3 grip followed by the FSS combat grip and this is the, the setup here for the TAC 56 M4 muzzle TAC castle uh, TAC castle where is it F TAC castle uh, this one right here barrel high toner 20 inch barrel scope of your choice we go in with the the ravage 8 and rear grip is going to be the sakin zx grip that's all you need to know about the m4 lackman 556 uh, muzzle the F Tac Castle Comp with the 15.9 inch barrel. Optic of your choice Lachman S9. Where is it? Factory. The rear grip is the LMK 64 grip. Moving over to the LMGs. Uh, this is like one of the only LMGs I use at this current point is the 556 Icarus and these are the attachments for it Mozo Equal S80 Is it Equal S80? Yeah, 80 sorry um, FTAC in the barrel section, the FTAC Cold Forge 16. Well, this one here, you'll be using the weapon to like you know, medium to long range combat. So you need something like the S the SZ S row seven or something like the VLK four times optic either or is a good um, is a good option uh, on the barrel we have the VX pineapple and for the rear grip we're going to use the Sakin ZX grip and there you have it guys these are the meta loadouts for assault rifles and LMG. If you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, 
and I have more videos on the way. It's your boy MSC Adijan and I'm out. Peace.